Before you do anything, you want to add your company information. You do that by going to the collateral tab in your brand kit. Here you can add new information in a couple of different ways. First, by creating new content from a blog post workflow, writing form from a scratch with the help of AI, or use AI to write everything. If you choose to add a blog post, you'll simply need to describe what you want to write the blog about, who is your targeted audience and keywords, as well as the blog's tone. Then add a headline, edit intro paragraph, adjust the length of the blog, and generate it. Another option is to write everything from scratch. To do that, you'll first need to describe what you're writing, mention your targeted audience and relevant keywords, select the tone and targeted language, as well as the length of the writing, of course. Once that's done, it will all be generated and you can edit it to your liking. Now, if you select the AI toolkit, that's where it gets a little more interesting. Reggie will present you with 51 templates to write anything and everything with the help of AI. It would take me an absurd amount of time to go over everything, but I'll share a screenshot of each option while I explain how they work. Each template will ask you to add a certain information. If you're writing value propositions, you'll be asked to share buyer persona and product description. If you're writing a follow-up email, you'll need to add a previous email example, so on and so forth. For every template, you add a couple of information points and everything else will be generated by Reggie. There are other ways to upload information to Reggie. You can do that by linking an existing blog post or sharing your website URL. You can upload more information by uploading a file or by uploading a whole file folder. Speaking of which, you can create folders to categorize information you have uploaded to Reggie. That's pretty much it for company information. Now you need to set up your ideal customer's profile, ICP for short, or what Reggie calls personas. Doing that is pretty simple. Click create new persona, name it, and select the filters that match your ICP. Filter by your ideal client's job title, company location, industry, and employee count. On the right, you'll have a few examples. If these examples seem good, create a persona. Now you're ready to create your first AI agent with Reggie AI. To do that, go to Agents and start creating your agent. First, you'll work on the Discovery tab to let the agent know who you want to target. You can either target lookalike audiences to your persona, reach out to contacts in your database, or contact a list of prospects that you want. And of course, you can exclude people you don't want AI agent to reach out to. You then adjust the amount of people you want to contact a day and filter it out by your built personas. Then AI agent will provide an example of leads it managed to find. If all the leads seem fine, continue to the Overview tab. Here you'll be able to manage your whole sequence. Give the details to the agent about how to write a subject line and emails based on the prompts you input. To create these prompts, you can take the best performing email copies in your sequence and reverse engineer them to have this AI agent outreach with the same tone as you do. Doing this will keep the consistency throughout the whole team. Also, you can let agent know what data points it should prioritize for the personalization of the email. You can personalize email based on your prospect's recent tweets, write a compliment based on their work history, reference their funding events, or if you're reaching out to people that are in your CRMs, you can add a custom field for agent to use in the emails. Once you set this all up, you'll see an email preview on the right. All of these emails are written based on the best email sending practices. But if for some reason you're not happy with it, just adjust the prompts and data sources. And remember, the agent will work within your set guardrails. If you want, it can only reference your prospect tweets, or both their past work experience and latest LinkedIn posts. You're in the full control of the data points. If you notice, on the left you can see agent tasks. Here you can set up your sequence steps that the agent will follow. You can add as many tasks as you'd like, send three follow-ups, call the prospect, or even reach out to them on LinkedIn. And all of these steps, or tasks as Reggie calls, are fully customizable based on your prompts and data inputs. In the messaging tab, you'll have an overview of number of emails sent, opens, replies, and link clicks, as well as meetings booked, total opportunities, and estimated value of created pipeline. And below, you'll see something very interesting. Here you can see every pain point and value proposition used by your agent as well as how it performs. This way you can manage everything at a super in-depth level, making sure the agent is only focusing on the best content type, all while not drifting away from your brand's tone of voice. In the Prospects tab, you'll see all of the leads your agent is planning to reach out to. In the Accounts tab, you'll see all existing customers that you can upsell to. In the Tasks, you'll see what tasks your agent is working on. And in the Settings, you'll be able to adjust the settings. Of course, Reggie AI is not the only platform that has an AI agent. If you'd like to see other agents like 11X, Artisans, and AISDR, as well as how they compare to each other, I suggest watching this video.